Hi, this is a tutorial on how to enable job accounting for a Kyocera uh, Task Alpha multifunction device. The easiest way to uh, get job accounting on the on the machine, uh, if you have a, a Task Alpha that has a one at the end of the the number, uh, it, you can you can achieve um, all this stuff through the web interface. Earlier versions, uh, you had to do it on the on the control panel or through um, Kyocera Net Viewer. However, if, if you have one of these machines and you want to enable job accounting, you have to log in. So log in with your admin credentials. All right. The machine's running a little slow, but anyhow, um, job accounting is under management settings, and that is also the reason why you have to log in to get to job accounting. Uh, click on job accounting. Notice that job accounting is off. Uh, once we turn on job accounting, then job accounting is on for all the functions. You would need a code to go to open up the the um, control panel so that you can do things like copy um, scan or fax or use any of the other functions that you can get to from the control panel also uh, sometimes if you don't permit people to print to it other than uh, using their job account codes you can also you also turn that on from this um, from this screen here uh, first thing you have to do is add in an account so let's go here and see if we can add in an account here. And we will put in test one. And test one's code is going to be one, two, three, four. Okay, we'll do four ones. Some of the features that you can do uh, restricting people is right now when the restrictions are off, they're, once you put in the code, you're open to do everything. But you can actually go in and tell it um, this person only has a total of 50 copies that they can do uh, you know, this month or a week or whatever. You can also call it, well, no restrictions on the, on the copy but you can do restrictions on color on whether it's single color full color um, you can also tell it uh, whether you want a limit on on prints same kind of kind of deal where you can actually also restrict them from using color prints or scan or fax but most people will just put in the the account name and the and the account id and tell it submit and that will save the the data this user onto onto the machine let's try this again okay it looks like it may have saved that 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 account before so let's create two of these so let's say this is test two it's going to be a different code it's going to have to be a different code so one 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 two we'll try that now it's submitting these are our codes here say those are the codes that you want to put in there and we go in here and we can actually turn on job accounting uh, at this point you can go job accounting but you can also um, permit unknown IDs and this is only used for printing so if you select permit here uh, your printers uh, people that print to the to the MFP will still be able to get their jobs it'll still go through and it won't be rejected if you put on reject you would then need to put the job account code into the uh, driver so that you will be able to uh, print. Um, let's tell it to permit printing. And you can also tell it to do uh, other things like uh, 
what kind of paper uh, do you want the the what you want to limit the the, the people that that use the machine to but once you tell it submit now the machine at that point will you won't be able to get up there and just make a copy you'll have to put in a code before the the control panel opens up and you're able to make a copy and that is how we turn on job accounting and hope this helps